hello friends welcome to another tutorial in digital electronics we'll talk about six variable k maps today a six variable k map is going to solve a digital circuit with six input variables a typical question would look something like this we have a function that depends upon a b c d e f six variables and the main terms are given like this the range of the min terms will be from 0 to 63 so i have quite a few min terms here ranging from 0 to 63 of course the first step is to draw the truth table which is not essential but yes to have a better understanding of how the inputs are relating to the output you should at least draw a prototype of it so we'll have 64 different inputs for six variables ranging from 0 0 0 0 0 0 to all ones where the first one is the main term 0 and we see that when we give all zeros at the input the output is 1 so we can fill it up from here the main term 0 is 1 similarly the main term 5 is also 1 main term 63 is 0 61 would have been a 1 uh, we need to draw a k map of 64 blocks so what we are going to do is we're going to draw 16 4 blocks of 16 uh, k maps each and how do we do that and please understand uh, please watch the previous video where i discussed the five variable k map so that is going to lay a foundation stone of how the higher variable k maps are designed it is highly recommended so what we are going to do here is we are going to first draw a k map of uh, two variables for a two variable k map we are going to have an outer box this outer blue box of just four blocks so it's a two by two k map and we know that a and b are the most significant bits so along this a will take a value zero and b a will take a value one here b will take a value zero here and b will take a value one here and each of these uh, bigger blocks are going to represent the values of a b as 0 0 0 1 1 0 and 1 1 respectively and in each of these bigger blocks we are going to draw a 16 uh, block k map where each block is going to represent c d and e f variables in 16 blocks so that's how you need to draw the 64 blocks in a group of 16 each and I always recommend that you draw the K map going from uh, bottom um, bottom right to left up because uh, when we draw the truth table it is also going from right to left and that way uh, the numbering becomes super easy for example this block is zero 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 so so in a way it is in a sequence so the sequence is going from right to left a b c d e f so i always recommend that you write it a on on the right side b on the left side c d on the right side and e f on the left side however if even if you write A here, B here, and C, D here, and E, F here, that would also work, but the entire pattern of the um, block numbers will change. Anyhow, so this bigger block represents A bar, this bigger block represents A, this bigger block represents A bar, A, and similarly, these two blocks represents B bar, these two blocks represents B. okay now let's look at of course we can further uh, label these 
rows and columns as 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0 as we do in the case of 16 vary, 16 blocks K map. Now if you look at this particular block, this block has A is 0, B 0, C, D, E, F all 0. So the decimal equivalent will be, turn out to be 0. So I put a 0 here and this this block is 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1. So we put a 1 here, then a 2 and a 3. So similarly we can populate this and this ends here at 15 because this is 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1. It will start from the second uh, K map will start from 16. As you can see, this is 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, A is 0, B is 1, and C, D, E, F are 0, so it turns out to be 16. Then it is 17, 18, 19, and it goes all the way up to 31. The next K map here starts at 32 because A is 1, B is 0, C, D, E, F are also 0 and so we'll do the numberings in this K maps block and let me take up this random block here this random block has A is equal to 1, B is equal to 1, C is equal to 1 and D, E, F is equal to 0, 0, 0 so we get a 32 plus 16 plus 8 so it is 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 0, which is the decimal equivalent of 56. And that's how we can very conveniently put up numbers in these K maps. This K map, this block will end up at 47. This block will start at 48 and will end up at 63. So those were the few notable points. Then we simply need to put in ones at the min term positions so 0 5 and then 8 and 9 and 12 and 13 and then 7 is also there and similarly continuing with 23 28 29 24 25 so i put up all the ones which are mentioned here in the min terms expressions now the most toughest part is to group these ones as we discussed we'll group the ones in the form of two parts so either it can be two raised to power zero which is it, it can be a you know single one or it can be a group of two ones four ones eight ones sixteen ones or thirty two ones and here in this case we could have an extreme case of sixty four ones which uh, is most unlikely to happen but we we will make the groupings in these uh, these possible combinations only and the priority is of course uh, higher grouping is preferred over lower groups so let us see how the grouping is done here we we could group these four ones with these four ones because these two are overlapping with each other so you must see the five variable k map video in order to understand how these two k maps are placed on top of each other and these are adjacent blocks so these four ones are placed on top of these four ones these are stacked up so i get a uh, group of eight ones 12 13 8 9 28 29 24 and 25 they fall in just one group of eight ones so in other words it's an octet and had we gotten two ones here at 45 and 41 position then we could have gotten 16 ones in just one group but we cannot group these ones these four ones with these ones and these ones because they'll make up a group of 12 which is not allowed so what we'll do is we'll make a second group of these four ones 28 29 24 and 25 with 60 61 56 and 57 so they'll make up an octet because these two are overlapping with each other so my first group will be the green one the second group will be the blue one the next will be the yellow one uh, which will include these two ones along with these two ones 
now how is this grouping different from the previous two groups because this is going to involve only 116 uh, block k map it is not overlapping with any other 16 block k map because these the green group had 216 block k maps involved the blue group also had 216 bit 216 block k maps involved but here in this case all the four ones are lying in this this 16 block and uh, then we could have these this one at 23 could be paired with this one at 55 they are overlapping each other so i put them in the orange block another block salt then we could have these two pink blocks this one can be grouped with this one and this one at 37 can be grouped with five and we are left with this one only so most likely combination of this one is to group this one with this one so after having those two pink ones we could have this final final grouping of this one with this one as yellow or the fluorescent color whatever that is and yeah so when we minimize this group of green we sa see that the a of these eight ones is not changing which is a bar b is changing however for these four ones b is zero for these four ones b is one so we'll not include b and c of these all eight ones is one so we include c and e bar e is also remaining zero in all these eight ones and f is changing from zero to one for the ones here so the reduced expression becomes a bar c e bar for the blue group we see that the b is not changing b is remaining one c is remaining one and e bar is also remaining constant so it becomes b c e bar and for these two group uh, these two ones with these two ones 44 40 46 42 we see that it's a is constant as one it's b is constant as zero it's um, c is constant as one d is constant uh, no d is changing and uh, e is remaining E is changing and F is not changing, which is uh, constant at zero. So it becomes A B bar C F bar. Pretty simple. Then we have these two. For these two, B is one. A is changing, and then uh, C bar D E and F. So this is also pretty simple. So when we group these two, their A is zero, B is zero, C is zero and d is one and their f is constant and e is changing so this becomes this and finally for number five and 37 we have b bar c bar d e bar f and these two ones will result in a bar b bar and uh, d bar e bar and f bar so we get uh, an expression of uh, we get a sum of product of one two three four five six seven terms so we had seven groupings and for those seven groupings we have seven different terms and that's how x variable k map is solved and I hope this tutorial was of help. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel. I'll see you around in the other videos and take care. Bye-bye.